AGI, the singularity, and transformative AI. What do these three terms mean? And what are they gonna do for the world? A lot is the answer. All the way back in July 2020, just after GPT-3 had come out, Paul Graham said that hackers were understanding just how powerful GPT-3 was, the same way that hackers had understood what the internet was back in the 1990s. And we've got people like the CEO of Google saying that AI is going to be far more profound than the internet or fire or electricity. Have a stare at this chart with me. This is by ARK Investment and it's also using some numbers from the US Labor Board. They've got uh, McKinsey referenced here. On the left, that green bar says that the internet may have delivered $13 trillion of value in about 24 years. On the right, that purple and blue and black bar says that artificial intelligence is set to deliver $87 trillion of value in less than half the time. The blue bar there is specifically about models like GPT-3 and other foundational AI models. So perhaps AI will give us six times the value, the enterprise value that the internet has given us. Isn't that frightening? Let's look at a couple of definitions. I do these videos for me because uh, it's great to have a reminder on what all these things mean. The first definition I wanna talk about is artificial general intelligence. And a few people have taken credit for this phrase or this term, AGI. And the definition I like to use for AGI is that we're emulating the human mind and behavior to solve any kind of complex problem. It does include embodiment. So we would need to have a robot to achieve this artificial general intelligence. But as you can see there in writing, it's the intelligence of a machine that can successfully perform any intellectual task that a human being can. So AGI has been the aim for a lot of different labs. You've got DeepMind working on it. You've got OpenAI working on it. You've got Google working on it separately from DeepMind. And there are others that are playing around in the background, some of them quite secretly, but we're really on the way to AGI. I've before said that we're about 30, 40% of the way to achieving this artificial general intelligence where a computer can do anything that a human can do. Now, what about the singularity? This term was coined by one of the prodigies that is creating AI for us right now. And he termed it back in the 1950s, John von Neumann. He has been called the smartest person in the world. He had an IQ that was way, way up there. He spoke many languages. He roomed next to Albert Einstein. He, uh, he gave us computers in a way, but he coined this term, the singularity, to talk about the speed or the moment in time at which technological growth becomes radically faster and uncontrollable. So it's where technology growth is out of control and irreversible. To illustrate this, I like to think of that clip from Spaceballs. Do you remember that? It's where Rick asks for the ship to go beyond ludicrous speed into plaid which is so fast that they can't even see. And this is what the singularity is. It's beyond light speed, beyond ridiculous speed, beyond ludicrous speed. It's where AGI has created new ways of thinking, processing, and it's really outpaced humans. There won't be any emergency break or emergency stop here where fortunately or unfortunately going to be in at a pace of change that is completely unsustainable for any human to keep up with, but is completely sustainable for the artificial intelligence to keep it going and to keep it spinning. Really exciting time. Let's look at one more term. This one's transformative AI. And this was actually coined before Transformers came out. It was coined in 2016 by Holden Karnofsky through Open Philanthropy and Transformers obviously came out 2017, 2018. 
they've got a really cool link between the two terms because transformers are going to bring us transformative AI. Three definitions here. It's AI that precipitates a transition comparable to the agricultural or industrial revolutions. It's a pretty easy definition. But then it could also be where AI systems, which are smarter than human scientists, help develop their own AI technology. Could also be AI systems capable of performing more than 50% of full-time jobs or earning more than 50% of the wages in effect. And that third one, this one is AI centric, not just expediting research, but also developing artificial intelligence, new artificial intelligence. I think we're a lot of the way to transformative AI, and I think this is a better definition that it's going to be more important than the industrial or the agrarian revolutions. We've got big people talking about this, huge labs talking about this. Eleuther AI put in their GPT Neo X 20B paper that this was on its way. They said, we believe that transformative artificial intelligence is approaching. Recent increases in the capabilities of large language models, LLMs, raises the possibility that the first generation of transformatively powerful AI systems may be based on similar principles and architectures as current large language models like GPT. And this is what it looks like as this transformative AI happens. It both amplifies and replaces the outputs of human beings. So we've already seen it replace retail and cashiers. You've got technologies like Amazon One and Amazon Go, which can amplify more than five times a human being. And of course has completely replaced human beings in some stores in the US. And then you've got examples like software development where GitHub Copilot might be amplifying the output of a programmer by 2x. And these numbers are again from ARC Investment based on some data from the US and from McKinsey. All right, let's summarize them and put them in order now. So the first one, the one that's probably already here, uh, just needs to hit that 50% mark for us to say that it's here. Transformative AI, artificial intelligence that significantly changes the future. And if we want to quantify this, it's replacing 50% of jobs or using 50% of the wages. AGI, machines that are as smart as humans across the board. And the singularity, I think of as a, a moment in time or even a speed, it's an intellectual runaway where we can't keep up with what AI is doing. It's a very, very exciting time. There it is, three of the major definitions that you might be hearing day to day. Transformative AI happening right now just has to hit that metric of 50%-ish. AGI, which has been talked about for quite a while, but we're saying that labs like DeepMind, Google, OpenAI are on their way to achieving that, a computer that can perform at the level of a human on any task, a movement task, a thinking task, a working task. That's gonna be really exciting. And then the singularity, which may need AGI before it happens. It's where that computer or that system or that machine is operating so fast and self-improving and self-developing and making changes that we just cannot see in front of us. Like the spaceship in Spaceballs, it's going at plaid speed and we can't actually see what is happening in our periphery or even what is happening ahead. It's that the AI is calculating, processing and changing the way that we do business and the way that we live to such an extent that, well, it's the singularity. <laughs> Awesome. One more invitation to join the memo. I'd love to have you on board. We've got some of my resources now being used by major institutions. I had a note from UC Berkeley recently, the University of Hawaii. Of course, we've got those big enterprise guys on board, Google, Apple, Microsoft. Uh, but of course, it's, it's not designed for academics. It's definitely not designed for the super peak performers that want to read the <laughs> nuts and bolts of papers. This is really giving you plain English, AI that matters as it happens. 
I'd love to have you on board the memo getting bigger and bigger. And I'll be speaking at Devox in Belgium very soon. In just a few weeks, I'll be providing the opening keynote for about 4,000 developers talking about this artificial intelligence, what it means, where we are right now, and just how quickly all of this is progressing. This pace of change is explosive. If you're a member of the memo, you will get a recording of that keynote address and I'd love to see you there.